In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the hydroxide concentration and pH of a weak base solution. The question reads, find the OH minus and pH of a 0 0.100 molar NH3 solution. So our molecule here, that's the base, is NH3, and it is a weak base, so it does not completely dissociate. The chemical formula should look like this, NH3 plus H2O, and that's in its liquid state, that's in its aqueous state, yields in both directions, OH minus and NH4 plus ammonium. That's aqueous, that's also aqueous. We have to make sure that this chemical equation is balanced and we have five hydrogens here, five there, one nitrogen on both sides and one oxygen on both sides. So it is balanced. We're told the concentration of the initial concentration is 0 0.100 and I'll write that as an I. I'll create an ice table. So initial change and equilibrium concentration. We don't worry about H2O because it is in its liquid state. So I'll just cross that out. Given that it is a weak base, we're going to have very little OH minus. So I'll write down approximately equal to zero and NH4 plus is equal to zero initially. What we are looking for is the concentration of OH minus because once we find the concentration of OH minus, we can then use the water auto ionization formula, substitute it into here along with what we know about K sub W, it's 1.0 times 10 to the power of negative 14, find H3O plus and then use this formula to find the pH. So it's a lot of work. We will start by setting one of these molecules as X for the change and we will compare stoichiometrically the ratios. So it's a one to one ratio. This will be negative X and this will also be negative X because we're comparing reactants to products. So you change the sign. To find E, we use the formula I plus C is equal to E. So let's add up these two, 0 0.100 plus X, and adding these two up is negative X and negative X. We will write down the equilibrium expression. We already know what K sub B is, the constant. It's 1.76 times 10 to the power of negative 5. So I'll write down the expression. Kb is equal to the concentration of OH minus times the concentration of NH4 plus over the concentration of NH3. We don't include H2O because it is in its liquid phase. Okay, let's continue now and we will substitute 1.76 times 10 to the power of negative 5 right into there. We'll substitute this expression and this expression into here and here. So negative x times negative x is x squared. All of this becomes x squared. And the expression here gets replaced with NH3. So this becomes 0 0.100 plus x. Let's go ahead and solve this. Now, normally when k sub b is really small, we can actually use a trick to solving. We can erase the plus x being applied at the bottom here. So wherever you have plus or minus x being applied to the equation, you can get rid of it. That's only because k sub b is really small. That's the quick and trick way to doing this. Otherwise, you would have to solve this using the quadratic formula. Let me use the trick method to doing this. So I'll assume that because k sub b is so small, plus x, I will just get rid of it. And the reason why that's nice is because now we have an equation that's quickly solvable. Watch this, x squared over 0 0.100. I can multiply both sides by 0 0.100. That gets rid of that. And we have x to the power of two on one side and on the other side we have these two being multiplied. Let's go ahead and multiply them. 0 0.100 times 1.76 times 10 to the power of negative five. That gives us the following number. And we will square root both sides at this point because that's how you get rid of this power of two. So if I square root this number, I end up with plus minus 1.32, six, six times 10 raised to the power of negative three. The reason why it's plus minus is because when you square root a number, there's always a positive and a negative version. So how do we decide which one is correct? The positive or the negative version? Well, if we choose 
the positive version and substitute it into here, we'll end up with a negative value for the equilibrium concentration, and that's wrong. So it has to be the negative version. Now, we also made the assumption that since KB is really small, we can get rid of X. To see if that assumption is the correct assumption, I'll take this number, the positive version, and divide it by what it was being added to, which was 0 0.100. And I'll find its percentage. If the percentage is less than five, then I've made the right decision to get rid of X. Multiply that by 100%, and we end up with 1.32. That's less than 5%, so the assumption to get rid of this X was a good one. Now, I can find the concentration of OH by substituting this into negative X. So pretend I'm taking the negative version of this number, substituting it into there, and we need this to three significant figures. So we end up with 1.33 times 10 raised to the power of negative 3 molar. Amazing. We have the concentration of OH, and we now use the water auto-ionization formula Here's what it looks like. K sub W is equal to the concentration of H3 plus times the concentration of OH minus. I'll substitute this number right into there, and I know that KW is 1.0 times 10 to the power of negative 14, and it's 1.00, it's three significant figures. That's equal to what we're looking for times 1.33 times 10 to the power of negative three. Let's go ahead and solve for x. So dividing 1.00 times 10 raised to the power of negative 14 by 1.33 times 10 raised to the power of negative 3. That gives us a hydronium concentration of 7.518. 7.518 times 10 raised to the power of negative 12. And we would expect that since NH3 is a base you'd expect that its concentration would be really small. And we need this to three significant figures, so we'll write this down as 7.52. We can now finally use the formula pH is equal to negative log. pH is equal to negative log of hydronium. So I'll substitute this number right into there. Negative log of 7.52 times 10 raised to the power of negative 12. And this gives us 11.123. Now, we need this to three significant figures after the decimal place because this number, 7.52, was three digits. So 11.124. 11.124 is the pH of the solution. And there you have it. That is how to find the OH minus concentration and pH of a weak base solution.